to the channel today for you i'm going to be showing you my coffee bar tour we did get an addition to the coffee bar because i was running out of room out of that little thing so i picked this up on amazon i will make sure to link it down in the description box down below so you guys can check it out and also if you guys are not subscribed to me hit that subscribe button that will mean so much because i think this year i think i'm going to be doing a lot more coffee videos on my YouTube channel and you guys do not want to miss any of my coffee content so I'm gonna turn the camera around so we can get started looking into what I have in my coffee bar stay tuned so right here I have a, some of my syrups um, displayed but majority of them are in the bottom and we're gonna get to that but I wanted to show you the top and at first our wall was just a half wall if I have a picture I will insert it so you guys can see and but then a couple days ago or yesterday we uh, painted the whole entire wall so it can actually look like a coffee shop that was my goal I wanted a coffee shop in my house so um, I use Tarani and I use Monin. I do have a couple other syrups, different brands, uh, that were sent to me to try out, and I'll get to those and show you those as we go on. But I have brown sugar, cinnamon, chocolate fudge, cookie butter. Now, I'm not going to tell you all of my syrups because I have a lot of them. I'm not going to lie, but I'll tell you the ones that are up here. Uh, tiramisu. Tiramisu is really good if it's paired with chocolate, you guys. Mm. Uh, raspberry. This is really good paired with chocolate. I have gingerbread. I like the gingerbread. I just didn't get to use very much of it. We have vanilla bean. We have salted caramel. Toasted marshmallow. Really good. I have English toffee. I don't think I would rebuy re English toffee because... I have um, other ones that I like better. And then I have chocolate chip cookie dough, really good. And then I have all the, um, what are those? The sauces right there. So I have salted or sea salt caramel toffee, really good. It's almost out. I need to buy another one. I have dulce de leche, need to replace this. And these are both by Monin. So good, you guys. So good. Um, I do have the Hollander chocolate sauce. This one was sent to me a few months ago, but it's really good. The only thing I don't like about it, it's a little runny. So if you're like trying to do like little art on your glass cup or whatever, it doesn't stay. It just falls down. That's the only thing I don't like about it. But other than that, the taste is really good. I have dark chocolate, Tarani, really good, and then I have the caramel. And then over here, this is their white chocolate by Hollander. If you don't get any other different flavors of sauces, get this one. This is, I have my second bottle here because this one's almost out. You can, I've only been able to find it on Amazon. I will make sure to link it down in the description box down below so you guys can see that. Um, and you can go place your order. But I'm telling you, this is so good. It's kind of pricey, I'm not gonna lie, but it's really good. Also, I have peppermint mocha from this brand. Peppermint mocha, here we go, can't talk, right? Oh my goodness, peppermint. This one's really good too. I like this one and the Tarani. And then I also have gingerbread with um, this brand as well. I'm not a fan. Just putting it out there. It's okay, but I don't like it. I have butter pecan. You say pecan. I say pecan. Whatever. Same thing. Um, I have hazelnut. It's really good. I'm almost out of hazelnut. That is Trani. Uh, what else is back here? I have white chocolate. I have chocolate macadamia and peanut butter. Peanut butter is really good, you guys. So, okay, in my first drawer right here, it's pretty much just the straws and the um, pumps for the sir uh, syrup bottles. Also, I have my little espresso glasses. 
that are from Nespresso that I think they were a gift. And then I have my Starbucks one. And I typed up a bunch of recipes so I wouldn't forget what um what I'm making because sometimes I do that and I have to go back and review my reels on Instagram. And then I have a scale. This is for my Bambino. So when I dial in my beans and I'm making sure I'm dialing in correctly. So I have a scale for that. I also have all the stuff for that machine in here. And I can also, I believe this one is linked in my Amazon storefront. I use this to tamper and to, I, don't, I forgot how you say what this side is. Don't come for me, people, in the comments. But yeah. And then also, I have a little bottle for water. So before I put my beans into the hopper in the ground on the grinder, I spray them. You can spray them one or two mists, and it helps them um, not have so much static and no and no channeling. So it helps with that. So I do have that, and pretty much I just have the manual in here for the machines. And yeah, that's it. And also, if you guys are wondering what this is, this is a little charger. It's so cute. I've had it for a long time, so I don't even know if it still works. I got it off Etsy years ago. So that's pretty much that was in that drawer. Okay, in this drawer, I just keep all of, well, not all of them, but all of, most of my original line pods. I bought these little dividers off Amazon. I will make sure to try to link them down in the description box below. But um, if I can remember what they're all called. This one is from Target brand. And this is Peppermint. This one is the Pike from um, Starbucks. This one's okay. I like the blonde better. This one is from Bar Barrel uh, Coffee House. This is um, Intenso. Oh my gosh. This is a really good pod. I talk about this all the time. Not sponsored. But this pod right here called Intenso. If you're tired, you just need one. I'm telling you, this thing will energize you. Just one pot. Because normally, I use two of these pots. And these ones are, this is Paris from Nespresso. These ones, I forgot what this one is called, but it's not the one I just showed you. It doesn't tell you. I forgot. And then these are just like miscellaneous ones, different like decaf and stuff like that this one is a these are hazelnuts i believe these are hazelnut and caramel and this is from the barrel house of coffee and yeah and these are miscellaneous and that's just rhubarb um chocolate that i brew sometimes in my coffees for over the holiday season so yeah if i can show you correctly this is instant coffee this is just cleaner for the um, machine. Excuse me for the shakiness. Um, my tripod was not working, so I have to hold my camera in my hand. So these are powders that I pick up from a local coffee shop. Uh, I will also link these down in the description box down below where you can pick these up. I believe cookie butter is out of stock, but these are really good. These enhance your coffee, even if you're making a hot coffee or a frappuccino. You, These are really good. Uh, my favorite one, I would have to say, sorry, I'm trying to get them out for you. I would have to say it's the chocolate one. This one is, has to be my favorite one. But the red velvet, and again, this one is out of stock. This one is really good. You don't need any syrups with this. You just need this and it's really good uh the white chocolate is amazing as well this is my little pour over thing that you put on a, a mug you just put a filter and some coffee grounds in there down here is just our catch-all like not our catch-all but it's like our extra syrup flavors that we use a lot so we have an extra peppermint <laughs> We have a vanilla, we have two salted caramels, and we have a vanilla bean back there. 
And then that is for my cold brew. And that is when I use my grinder to hold my beans. So that is it for this one. Okay. So in this drawer, or this cabinet over here, let me scoot back. And I apologize for the shaking. My tripod sucks. So I also have some ground beans from Barrel House Coffee. I have not tried the Indonesia ones, but I did try, I think it was the clay, and those ones are really good. So I can't wait to play around with these and dial into my espresso machine. And then these are just like little uh, toppings that I have. I have pumpkin pie. I have chocolate donut, pumpkin pie. This is cinnamon sugar. This one is buttery cinnamon goodness in there. There is just peppermint. This one is from, where's this from? This is from Flavor God. Um, this was also sent to me and it's, it was okay. I just have to play around with it more. It's ground already. So that's probably why I'm having a hard time with it because I prefer to have whole beans and grind myself. And then the elephant in the room. Yes, these are all of my syrups. You might say I have a lot, but that's okay because I like to try different recipes and I do a lot of coffee reels. And so there's that. But the one that I have to tell you that you should buy, and it's from Trani, and it's vanilla salt. You guys, when I tell you, you can just open the bottle and freaking drink this stuff. This is amazing. I mean, I don't recommend you do that but this stuff that's how good this one is i definitely need a backup for that one and then we have peppermint we're almost out of that one we have french vanilla i have banana maple pancake uh toffee nut this one is really good this is by da vinci this is a uh, perline i have pistachio cinnamon bun I'm trying to show you guys cupcake i'm not a fan of the cupcake one i don't recommend that one uh cheesecake amazing amazing the honey syrup um i don't think i will repurchase it again it's not bad but i don't think i will repurchase it irish cream is amazing cold brew uh toasted almond mocha i haven't had it that much to it's been a minute so i should make a coffee with that um, but other than that, what is this one? Oh, this is s'mores. This is the only one that I have that is sugar-free because it doesn't come in regular. And for me, that's really good. I really like the, like that one. And the caramel apple butter is amazing. I use this one during the fall time. And then I have almond back there. I've only used it a couple times. And what is this back here? Oh, chai tea. That is chai tea back there. And it's really good. So, but out of all of these, I would say cinnamon bun, vanilla salt. What else to get you started? Um, and like your 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 caramels and your vanillas, I would say that would be a good start if you're just starting out in the coffee community. So now I'm gonna show you what is over here. Okay, I decided to make this a two-part uh, video, so we are going to close it up on part one with the first buffet table, and then for part two, I will be showing you this side, where all the machines are and all the other stuff. So thanks again so much for watching. If you like these types of videos, uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I will make sure to leave all of my handles down in the description box and my Instagram, my Amazon storefront, all of that. And again, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.